Roma katika Matthew chapter 13 and verse number 44 to 46 and I thank God because we will also begin there by the grace of God na tusome maneno hayo ambao tulisoma yatatusaidia eh Matthew chapter chapter 13 and verse number 44 to 46 the kingdom from heaven is like treasure hidden in a field that a man found and hid in his excitement he went and sold everything he had and bought the field again the kingdom from heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls when he found a very valuable pearl he went and sold everything he had and bought it bwana tunaomba kwamba maneno haya yapate mahali pa kuketi katika mioyo yetu na maneno ambayo tutasoma baadaye yatujenge katika hili eneo ambalo tunasoma katika jina la Yesu. Tunashukuru kwa maana wewe ni mwema. Naondoa sauti ambazo hupingana na sauti yako. Sauti ambazo huzuilia sauti yako kutua ziondoke katika akili na mioyo ya watu na jina lako lisifike na kuinuliwa milele katika jina la Yesu. Twaomba na kuamini na mtu aseme amen. Amen. E, nilikuwa na nena habari ya What is expected of me? Hallelujah. Ni nini inatarajiwa kwangu? Hilo ndilo somo letu siku ya leo. What is expected of me? Na leo ukitazama katika hili neno kwa sababu ya wale ambao hawakuweko nitapeana tu insight kidogo kama vile nilianzia. Nikasema the kingdom of God according to this word is a treasure. Ufalme wa Mungu ni kitu cha dhamani ni hazina. Hallelujah. So nikasema hivi uelewe hivyo ili ukifuata na ukikaa katika ufalme wa Mungu usiketi kama mtu muoga mtu aliye na baridi uketi mtu jasiri kwa sababu the kingdom is a treasure. Hallelujah. Ufalme ni, ni kitu cha dhamani ni hazina ujiwekee haya maneno katika moyo ili hata wakati unakimbizwa wakati unapingwa wakati kuna maadui katika maisha yako you shall always maintain your position i am sitting in a kingdom that is a treasure niko katika ufalme na ufalme huu umejawa na nini na hazina bwana asifiwe jambo moja ambalo nilisema ni kwamba though the kingdom is a treasure it is a treasure that is hidden ni dhamaa ni hazina iliyofichwa manake ni kusema ya kwamba we will not see it outright it is not very clear sometimes there are no markers concerning the kingdom of god and the treasure therein hakuna kitu imewekwa hivyo ni kusema hakuna mahali let me tell you this the kingdom of god is not magic ati kwamba unaguza hivi inajifungua unaguza hivi inajifungua ufalme wa Mungu hufunguliwa kwa na mtu ambaye anauelewa na anautamani Bwana Yesu asifiwe meaning that you can be in the kingdom but never benefit from the kingdom because you never understood how it works praise the name of the lord now when i was finishing nilikubuka story of the prodigal son and this is a story i love The story of the prodigal son inaonyesha kwamba the prodigal son alikuja we baba nipe kila kitu changu akapewa akaenda akaponda mali akakunywa akalewa akafanya ukahaba baada ya kufanya kila kitu si maandiko inasema alijifanya nini alijikuta akitaambika anakula makopo takataka zile nguruwe anachukuliwa chakula kile nguruwe anapewa ndicho anakula bwana asifiwe sana was his father poor come on was his father poor No what is wrong? It is the positioning that determines what you can get from the father. Kwa hivyo unaweza keti na Mungu aliye na utajiri, lakini kwa sababu hauna funguo ya kufungua utajiri wake, unaishi katika umasikini. Unaraumu Mungu. Niliwaambia even if you will not get to heaven for any other reason, get to heaven to see the drama that will be there. Because there will be drama in heaven. People who are blaming God for their poverty. People who are telling God I lived and died the poor. Where were you? Hallelujah. Nilisikia story ya mtu mmoja ambaye alipelekwa mbinguni. Alipofikishwa kule akawa anaona 
anamuona Yesu akampeleka mpaka mwisho wa biguni akamuonyesha safari yake duniani akamuonyesha vile safari yake ya dunia ilikuwa vile alitembea sasa kuna realization ambao alipata anaona mahali miguu ya mtu mmoja anafika mahali anaona ni ya watu wawili ni ya mtu mmoja tena ni ya watu wawili sasa akauliza Yesu na mimi nilitembea tu peke yangu kwa nini tuko wawili akaambiwa hiyo miguu ingine ni yangu tulitembea pamoja sasa akaangalia vizuri akaona siku na mahali inakuwa ya mtu mmoja akaambia Yesu nimegundua mm, nimeona kule uliniacha ndio niliteseka sana kumbe ndio maana kulikuwa kugumu hivyo kumbe ndio maana maisha yangu ilikuwa na mashida hivi Yesu akamwangalia akamwambia no my child it is not like that mahali unaona miguu ya mtu mmoja ni kule niliona ni kugumu nikakubeba So when you think you are walking alone God is walking carrying you. Hallelujah. Hivyo divo drama itakuwa biguni. Ya watu ambao wanafikiri Mungu aliwachukia. Ya watu ambao hawaelewi kwa nini Mungu ulibariki wale na mimi sikuwahi fikiwa na baraka. Kwa nini fulani aliinuka na mimi sikuinuka? Kumbe kuna kanuni haukuelewa. So the kingdom of God is a treasure but the treasure that is hidden. Uta, utajiri ambao umefichwa thamani yake ni kubwa lakini imefichwa and i want to say this it is not open to everyone or for everyone utajiri ule ama hazina ile haijafunguliwa kwa kila mtu kwa hivyo ni kusema ni mimi niande kutafuta ni nini kinaweza fanya hazina ya Mungu ifunguke katika maisha yangu hazina ile nimefuata ifunguke bwana yesu asifiwe eh i want to say this also there are principles to follow to unlock the wealth or the the treasure of the kingdom kuna kanuni za kufuata ili niweze kufikia utajiri wa mbinguni bwana yesu asifiwe kuna kanuni ambazo nitabidi kuziweka maanani kuna vitu nitabidi kufanya ili ni ufikie utajiri ambao mungu anapeana ili hazina ile ya ufalme ifunguke katika maisha yangu it does not just unlock their principles hallelujah Niliwaambia hivi hapa wale watu wamekaa wa nimefundisha habari ya kanuni nitakwambia maneno mawili ambayo ni ya muhimu one as i have taught many times principles do not respect persons kanuni haziheshimu mtu kanuni hazijui wewe ni nani umezaliwa na nani ulikula nini asubuhi kanuni principles do not care hallelujah in kenya we drive on which side of the road come on hata kama wewe si dereva ulisoma tunaenda shanga gari tukiwa pande gani tunaenda shanga tukiwa left si ndio ukitoka US ukuje Kenya una drive ukiwa pande gani but in US you drive on the right if you go to Britain you drive on the on the right but when you come to Kenya the principle dictates you drive on the left na wewe uwezi toka hapa ukaenda Britain na tunawaambia sisi kwetu tunaenda shanga tukiwa left i will drive from the left utagongwa utakufa mapema hata sijui hata wacha kugongwa hautaenda bali bila kuona gari ya polisi imekwambia ingia hapo simama hapo mujinga utatusubua na mimi nakwambia hivi hiyo kanuni hata ukisema wewe ni mgeni hautasikizwa si, si kwa sababu ati wewe si mgeni si kwa sababu hawapendi wageni huwezi anza kusema waingereza ni watu wambaya hata hawataki kuona wageni a a ni kanuni zinasema for everyone's safety there must be principles Hey, bwana asifiwe sana. And I want to tell you this. God is not unjust and God is not unfair. That is why principles are there. Do you hear what I said? God is not unjust, he is not unrighteous. That is why principles must be there. Ili wewe upewe, ufikie maisha kulingana na kanuni ulizojiwekea. Kwa hivyo life kuna mahali itakugovern kulingana na kanuni zile uliweka maanani. Ni kanuni gani uliheshimu katika maisha? So nimesema two things that are important principles are not a respecter of persons. And the second thing that I want you to honor uh, to understand, the principle you honor shall work for you. The principle you dishonor or disregard or disrespect shall work against you. Kanuni ile utaheshimu itakufanyia kazi. Itakupea heshima, itakuinua, itakutukuza. Kanuni ile utadharau itakudharau itafanya kazi kinyume chako 
na wewe utakao ukisema sierevi shetani mahali anapitia kuna watu ambao wanaona shetani kila mahali mimi nakwambia hivi kuna kitu ikifanyika katika maisha yangu maisha yangu before i consider about the devil i consider about what could i have done in my life because unaweza gongwa na si shetani amekugonga umegongwa kwa sababu ya tabia taratibu ambao unafanya bwana asifiwe when you read your bible i think this should be genesis chapter number 42 or 43 When, when the children of, of Israel come to Joseph in Egypt wanafika Joseph anawasumbua wanaitana kamkutano wanaambia naangalia angalia hii ni ile kitu tulifanyia ndugu yetu ndio sasa inatukura na unajua wanaongea na Kiebrania so wanafikiri Joseph asiki paka Joseph anatoka kulia yani hawa watu wanajua tendo tulilotenda miaka kumi na tatu iliyopita it has caught up with us imesha tufikia na si miaka kumi na tatu in fact it was exactly 20 years or, or 21 or 22 years na hapo wamekaa miaka ishirini na lakini wanakumbuka tendo tulilotendwa tumeanza kulipwa Mungu aliweka kanuni kanuni zile utaheshimu zitakuheshimu kanuni ile utadharau itakudharau na itafanya kazi kinyume na wewe Bwana Yesu asifiwe E, kuna mambo mazito kufundisha lakini inahitaji ifundishwe kwa sababu kuna watu unaishi maisha kihorera free for all or free for unaanguka tu we ni kugaragara tu kulio karora so you assume that hata kamulima itakapofika utapanda hiyo kugaragara bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe kuna gari tunaita manual kuna mahali tulikuwa tunafika kama tu, kuna kamuteremko na tunataka kupanda pande ile tunaweka free kwanza kwa muteremko na ukiweka free gari inateremka kwa sababu haifungwi gear inasaidia katika kufunga gari kwa hivyo ukiweka free unateremka unasikia inaenda kama mawe We. ukifika pande ile kwa kamulima ndio utagudua free si kusema free kila mahali kwa kamulima free haifanyi kazi salimia neiba umwambie free inafanya kazi kwa miteremko mwambie kwa milima lazima uweke gear lazima ukanyange mafuta kine kuna watu ambao ndio wengine mahali umekuwa kwa, kwa kamuto ulipanda hivi ukarudi pande hii ukapanda hivi maisha una, unaenda unajua inaenda ikirudiusi nini distance na speed mwisho wa inaseto wapi pale chini hapo ndipo huko bwana kama ni wewe ndio nyeshe bwana uikai mimi nataka nikuone usitumane kuja personally how dokaga hapo ni ujifundishe ni nini utafanya utoke kwa kwa, kwa, kwa kamuteremko ni nini utafanya utoke kwa muto bwana asifiwe chinamwambia siku moja nilikaa na mtu akaniambia vile alikuwa na gari sasa gari yake anakaa naye anatembea naye anafika mahali anakwama kwa matope anaambia watu nisukumieni watu wanamsukumia wanamtoa anafika mahali amekwama sijui kwa nini nisaidie ni wapendwa anasaidiwa anatoka Siku moja akiangalia gari akaona kabaton akaangalia vizuri akaona gari ilikuwa four wheel gari ilikuwa na uwezo wa kujitoa kwa matope lakini juu hakuwahi kufinya hako kabaton gari yake ilikuwa tu inatembea na ya bere tu sasa mtu anasubuka mtu anakwama kwa matope salimia jirani mwambie kuna kanuni ukiweka utatoka kwa hiyo matope si umsaidie tu hata kama hataki kusaidiwa mwambie kuna kanuni ukiapply utatoka kwa hiyo matope Yeah. lakini endelea tu kuidharau kuiangalia na macho nayo na itakudharau hivyo hivyo hapo uliko utakaka bwana asifiwe so si umeshika hizo point mbili principles are not respecter of persons they don't respect any man they don't look at your appearance they don't even mind whether you are learned ndio hii dunia kuna watu nakutanga na ujinga yao wako kule juu na mtu na hekima yake <laughs> bwana asifiwe <laughs> kama yule anatuambia tukuze bagi. So unaangalia hivi unaona digri 16 na unasema tulime bagi. Ona wewe una ginyokovi muhegishanire. Uko na confusion mahali. Kwizi soma digri 16 ya nini ya nini? Ya nini? Ya nini? Alafu ukuje utuambie tuna ofa gito ugikulia. Please si utuambie kitu ya maana. Sasa ndio unaangalia unaona huu mtu ako na digri lakini afikiri Nilijiuliza nilikuwa naongea na mke wangu jana nikamuuliza kama saa hizi tunasubuliwa na bagi unasikia sijui mtu na hapa jana mumeona ingine ilikuwa inangolewa na hapa Masinga Machakos County 
polisi mna majebe ya kungoa bagi kama saa hii ikiwa sio ligo inatusubua na ikipatikana ligo ambayo inalimwa na neighbor na anakuambia for export nikuulize kama saa hii wale wamevuta bangi nilienda shule mahali tulikuwa na pastor Irene eh tukauliza wale wa, there was the questionnaire i don't know whether you went through them because i went through mine and you went through them what was the percentage ya wale walikuwa wameona bangi na wamevuta it was over 50% vijana nusu ya wale wako shule wameona bangi wameivuta niambia ni nini unasema wewe jaribu kuimagine kama bangi ikiwa sio ligo haiuzwi kwa soko kuna 50% ya wanafunzi wameivuta hata shule zile kubwa hata uende akina mangu uende hata ile nyingine inaitwa ni alliance zile zinakujanga namba moja bado utakuta bangi inapatikana swali langu ni hili na ikiwa inalimwa hapo nyuma ya, ma, ya mangu boys si boys wananunulia kwa ukuta hai nipe ya 30 <laughs> Sasa ndio una, unaangalia hivi hata kama sina degree <laughs> ile niko nayo haijafika kabisa bwana asifiwe <laughs> Ina, inaitangwa higher diploma eh? lakini hata kama sina degree wazeni ziwajana na bagi tafadhali isikuje na tunaipinga katika jina la Yesu ona god ile na degree kiogogea kwa kile onomo haleluya so hivi tunasema hivi unakuta mtu wako na nini lakini hawezi panda Unakuta mwingine hana akili nyingi lakini amepanda. Ushawahi hata mahali ukakuta mtu ya biashara lakini venye amekaa, shati imefunguliwa mpaka hapa, alafu ikako myopio. Mumewahi waona? Tubo nusu iko nje na vile iko kubwa na ni nyeusi. Unajua yani kuna vitu hata havifai kuonekana. Kini hata vesti imevaliwa iko kombo, unaona ina ni kama ilifuliwa Januari wakati kulikuwa na na vubi. Eh? Ukiangalia mtu hivi lakini ile pesa imerara hapo unaangalia hivi unashindwa. Huyo ni we mwene. Ndiye mwenyewe. Mtu anashuka kwa gari unashindwa kama ni driver. Unaambiwa unaona huyo? Huyo. Wajana na hiyo iko V8. Hata wewe unafuatana na yeye hata unainama kisha umuone vizuri. Maana ukiangalia sura ya V8 hakuna lakini iko. V8 iko lakini mwenye kubebwa na V8 hana sura. Ni vitu gani kuna vitu Mungu ameweka ili tusifikirie ate ni akili uko nazo nyingi ndio utapata kuna kanuni ambazo hufanya kazi praise the name of the lord so jielewe hivyo kuna kanuni kuna watu ambao ukikuta hata kama kinakaa hivyo kimutu na kina matusi mingi sana kinaongeaka vibaya hata ukikuja anakuambia nikiolela huko gomeno unataka nini we shaitani hivyo ndivyo lugha yake lakini umwambie e, mzee sina shida nilikuwa nakusalimia nikikwambia e, mtoto wetu mmoja hajaenda ha, ha, shule juu hakuna pesa na mashida ni mingi. E, muliona mahali ya kukujiaga pesa ne wage uka umefanya vizuri kwa kukujia. Sasa ni ngapi ameitishwa? Unamwambia imagine zimebaki fote. Anakuambia mimi nitakupea dhate kumi utafute. Lakini amekutusi amekuita shaitani amekuambia huna akili mnakujianga tu pesa lakini amekupea. Enda kwa wale watakatifu wasafi kama malaika. Uambie uko na shida. Uone vile wanakupea jicho ya kusema <laughs> ulikuja na Nairobi bila kufikiria. <laughs> Ugekuwa Mungu unabariki na pesa. Ugepea nani? Pesa ya kupeana utapea huyu mwokovu kama utapea hii jauri mujiga ambayo inatukanana. Ai, anga mutiranyita. Jifanye Mungu leo. Wewe die Mungu, uko na pesa ambao ni ya kusomesha masikini. Ukipea huyu mtakatifu haitoki. Ukipea hii mukora ambayo ina matusi inapeana, utapea nani pesa ya kupeana? Huyu ambaye anapeana ndio utajiri wenu umefichwa. Angalia mtu muambie pesa yako iko na majamaa huku tu, iko na majamaa. Hata uangalia mwingine umwambie inaweza kuwa na mchawi wa kwenu. Na siku kunyang'anya amekunyang'anya hata hakuna nyota yako. Hii maombi ya kufukuzana na nyota wachana naye. Agalia kanuni zile unafanya nazi, kazi nazo katika maisha. Wengine hakuna nyota yako imeibiwa. Kile kimefanyika ni kwamba ni chano tu imegeuzwa. Mungu kamuferejile ilikuwa inamwaga kwako. Akapidua tu kidogo kanamwaga kwa muganga. Maana muganga anapea watoto wa wenyewe pesa. Na anawaambia usiwe na shida. Msiwai lala jani kiwa hapa. Mimi ni kama tu baba yenu na anawapea hizo chakula. Na watoto hawashiku na uganga, 
hata hawatafungwa ati kwa sababu wamekula pesa ya muganga maana ni Mungu ameona mupeanaji akapea yeye Biblia inasema blessed is the merciful for they will do what Come on do you read your bible blessed are the merciful because they will obtain mercy mwenye kuhurumia atahurumiwa mwenye kupeana ataongezeka bibi asema kwamba kunaye ambaye anatawanya lakini anazidi kutajirika na kunaye anazidi kushikilia anazidi kuwa maskini hiyo si mimi nimesema ni biblia sasa we unataka hauna kanuni hausimami juu ya chochote lakini unataka kufanikiwa unataka kuinuka haiendi hivyo hii ufalme iko na kanuni huu ufalme uko na mambo umewekewa ukitaka kufika hapa njia ni hii bwana yesu asifiwe hmm? njia ni hii so anyway mungu awasaidie kwa sababu hili ni jambo nzito so ninasema hivi they are no rocking is consistent and relative to the principles you follow can i say this the unlocking of the treasure this one for those who are not here uh, even for those who are here haikuwa imesemwa the unlocking of the treasure is consistent and relative to the principles i follow kanuni zile ninafuata kanuni zile ninaambatana nazo ndizo zinaamua Utajiri ule wa Mungu hazina ile itafunguliwa namna gani? So unaweza tamani utajiri ufunguliwe lakini unafunguliwa kadogo kadogo. Unafunguliwa kama mfereji ya quarter inch. Naye mwingine yako na pipeline kama zingine zinawekwa na huku. Pipeline ambayo unaweza igiria katikati. Hu hiyo ndio inamwaga kwake kwa sababu amefuata kanuni ambao inaruhusu pipeline. Kuna mtu amefuata kanuni ambao ameenda akireduce mpaka kanakuwa kakuota unakuta maji inatoka na pressure lakini inatoka kadogo imepimwa naye mwingine kwake inamwagika hata hana haja ya kupima sababu kanuni ile ameweka inafutegemea na the consistency eh? or is consistent to the uh, uh, and relative to the principles you follow i want to say this finally on the same note uh, the treasure of the kingdom is unlocked bit by bit as i follow in obedience the the unrocking of the treasure in the kingdom is bit by bit depending on the principles i i am ready to obey kanuni zile ninafuata na vile niko tayari kuzitii hata kama zingine zinanifinya hata kama zingine zinanitesa nikaamua hiyo kanuni hata ikiwa ni ngumu nitaifuata tu hiyo kanuni hata kama haipendezi inanijeruhi lakini nitaifuata kanuni hiyo unayofuata inakufungulia bet by bet amen wacha ni niwaambie wengine mahali tumefika ulifika kuota eka na ulikuwa upewa eka mzima kuota eka ndipo mahali ulifikisha utifu wako Mungu akaona umeanza kwenda kombo anafunga kajia kutoka pale hiyo ingine zilikuota ndio nimewaambia inapewa jirani alimange tu hapo Mungu anamwambia nikalishie hii kwa hivyo kuna vitu ambazo aziko watu wako nazo na uogope pia hii eh unaweza pewa vitu vya majirani si zako kwa hivyo majirani watakapoamka wae watifu zitatolewa kwako unaambiwa tafadhali odoka sasa mwenyewe amekuwa na akili wacha tumrudishie mali amen eh uogope hiyo lakini sana sana afadhali hiyo ya kushikilia ukiwa na zako eh amen kuliko wale ambao ebu maji ni shamba hili ni lako unakufa na njaa lakini shamba liko Amen. Mshawa hiyo na mashamba iko kesi, eh, kotini. Makesi yake iko kotini. Na koti ina issue notice ya kwamba hiyo shamba isiguzwe mpaka kesi ifanye nini? Iamuliwe. Unaweza kuwa ulikuwa umejenga nyumba na ukapaka rangi. Ulikuwa umebaki tu kuingia, lakini koti ime issue order inaitwa status quo. Mambo ikae ilivyo mpaka tutakapoamua. Kesi imezuguka ime kotini miaka thelathini unakufa bila kuingia nyumba yako lakini ulijenga na ni pesa yako ulitumia ilikuwa yako lakini kuna kitu kilisimama mbele zako kuna watu wanaishi hivyo maisha ambao kitu chako ndiyo kile lakini kimewekewa moratorium ya kusema usipitishe hapa isifu isifunguliwe hiyo kitu ikae hivyo uogope hilo jambo si mtu ainue mkono aseme bwana niondolee kila kifungo na kizuizi kinacho nizuilia kuingia katika utajiri wangu 
Amen. Mungu akutimizie haja ya moyo wako. So, mtu yule alipoona alikuwa anaenda akazikuwa mahali akakuta hazina imefichwa maandiko inasema alienda akauza vyake vyote akuje anunue nini shamba lenye hazina Bwana Yesu asifiwe wale waliokuweko mapema niliwaambia hivi si huyu mtu angegoja usiku ufike wakati kuna kagiza akuje akinyemelea pole pole aingie tu kwa shamba maana si kwa nyumba ni kwa shamba ndivyo maandiko inasema si angekuja tu kwa kunyemelea aingie kwa shamba atoe ile hazina aende naye kwa nini hakutumia hiyo jia ni mtu alielewa kitu nimeita nini kanuni za ufalme na vile zinafanya kazi bwana yesu atukuzwe so alijua ya kwamba nikitumia hiyo binu nikuja usiku nichukue nikuiba nimeiba nikitumia hiyo binu nikuja usiku nitaitwa mwizi Naweza kutwa kwa shamba nikatwe kichwa naweza pigwa mshale na nikiuawa nitaitwa nani trespasser praise the name of the lord akaamua kuna njia naweza pata hii mahali bila kuiba kuna njia naweza pata hii mahali bila kunyakua ya mtu bila kuitwa mwizi mahali akarudi nyumbani nafikiri kwanza lazima alienda akafukuliza yule mtu ika shamba iko na hapa hivi nafikiria kujenga kama mansion niwe nakaa mahali quiet kama hapa kwako ni kuwe neighbor unaweza niuzia jamaa akamwambia of course you are my brother si wewe ni mtu mzuri hata ni vizuri ukuja tuwe majirani tuwe tunatia na nguvu akajua huyu mtu hajui kuna hazina because angekuwa anajua hangeuza shamba si ni ukweli so ndugu akaenda akauza kila kitu akamwambia mzee ile kashamba ulisema ulisema ni pesa ngapi akaambiwa akasema mimi hata kama iko na mawe mimi sina shida maana nataka tu mahali ya kuje ya kujenga hiyo natumia tu mifano jamaa kalipa cash money shika ama kama ni cheki kama ingekuwa siku zetu ama kama ni transfer akafanya na jamaa kaandikiwa title deed akapewa na waka exchange na jamaa akaenda akarudi kwa shamba akafence sasa akiwa kwa shamba ni la nani ni lake akatoa hazina akajirudishia utajiri wake na akajenga nyumba ama akafanya hata uenda ikawa alipotoa hazina si ametoa ligari labda alikuja akaambia mwenye shamba mimi nimeona hapa pahali nimeona tu hata ni kama si mahali pazuri vile nilikuwa nafikiria fanya hivi wewe endelea kulima hii shamba nimekupea hata hizi runi nimekurudisha hata taito shika lakini mwenye shamba hajui ya kwamba hazina imefanya nini imeenda si mtu ainue mkono tena useme bwana nisaidie hazina yangu isiende na wengine kwa sababu si kuielewa Somebody say it again I desire the treasure of the kingdom may the treasure of God's kingdom be found in my life Hallelujah Kwa sababu hebu imagine mtu akuchukulie kitu ambao iko na hazina lakini wewe haukujua Upendwa mimi nimeombea watu ambao hawajaokoka Mtu ambaye hajaokoka anafufuata mpaka kwa kanisa Bwana asifiwe sana Mimi nimepewa pesa na watu ambao na sadaka nikaona watu wameleta na hajaokoka hata na nakwambia pasta mimi napenda Mungu lakini kuokoka bado uendelea kuniombea tu najua nitafanya nini nitaokoka siku moja lakini amebeba hazina yake sadaka yake sasa nikwambie ni hivi Mungu atafanya kazi praise the name of the lord eh hey. haleluya hii nyumba nimenunuliwa vitu na na watu ambao hata hasiwa shirika huku hata kazi nyingine imefanywa na watu ambao hawasomi hapa kwa sababu anaelewa utajiri wa ufalme. Lakini unakuta mshirika ambaye kazi yake tu ni kuketi na kujiangalia mambo ikifanywa. Anafuatana tu na wale wanafanya. Nayo baraka inafanya nini? Inaenda na wale walifanya kazi. Niliwaambia na nataka kuwa encourage even those who are watching us online. Never be in a church where you cannot commit yourself to do anything. Don't be in that church. Go look for another church. Mahali utaenda kama ni pesa yako ukomit kwa Mungu wa hiyo kanisa. Kwa sababu gani? Mahali uliko and you cannot commit your wealth there. The wealth of that house cannot come to you. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says in the book of uh, Colossians, no not Colossians but Philippians 4 verse number 19. The verse we know, and my God shall supply all your riches according to his riches in 
all your needs according to his riches in glory. Paulo asemi you are God and asema my my God. Usome misali diombe. Tunapenda kukutu kumizikutu maandiko. Unasoma ka verse 19. Lakini verse 18 na verse 17. Ujawai soma. Usome hiyo verse. Anasema mulishikiria. Nyinyi ndiyo watu mulipoona niko na mahitaji. Mulikuja muka niretea vitu zile nilikuwa na hitaji. Mulinipea marienu nikahubiri njiri. Then because of what you have done. My God shall do what? Shall supply. Buwana Yesu asifiwe. Wata ni kusaidia mahali. Na siku saidia ati ni, ni, ni kwa sababu we ni mbaya. We ni mtu mzuri sana diyo maana uko hapa. Lakini kusaidia mahali. Kuna financial problems you might have. Even if I pray for you, there will, be, there will never be an intervention. The God ambaya alinituma, anakuangaria anaona maisha yako, haina anything to do with this man of God. And the work that I gave him. Hauna mahali, hauna connection. Kamurango kanafungwa. Ata ukiombewa. Eh, buwana suwe sana. Nadio, wacha tu ni kusaidie kwa sababu leo ni kusaidiana. E, kama hautoi fugu, hautoi sadaka, hauna mahali, na ile unatoa, unatoa na uchungu, hata ukikuja kwa hima, ndaba hutu kuobe, haita za kitu. Afadhali tu kwa biu kweli. Eka imuta lutaka, buwana asifiwe, buwana muna sutuka. Aleluya. Kama hautoi, hata tukikuombe, haita kusaidia. Kama kile unatoa ni kufinywa ulifinywa haiwezi kufanya kazi kwa sababu ni kanuni ya Mungu Bwana asifiwe Mama Mshunemu hata hajui Elisha kwa jina anasema huyu ni mtu wa Mungu huyu ni Analikoa ni mtu na ni wanani ni wa Mungu anamwambia igia kwa nyumba tutakujengea mahali tutakuwekea kitanda tutakuwekea taa na kameza utakuwa na maisha mazuri ukienda huduma yako Siku moja Raisha baada ya kukaka alisema huyu mama tutaweza tu kumwacha hivyo akae tu hivyo akaambia gehazi huyu mama aitwe muite muambia na muita akakuja mama akaulizwa sasa mama ninataka kuuliza hivi tukufanyie nini tukupeleke usalimie mfalme ama komanda wa majeshi ni nini ungetaka unajua wapendwa isipokuwa ni vile hapa tuna saigine tumafikira ya, 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 ya hapa <laughs> wewe ni vile tu ujui mambo ukiabua leo at, wacha vile hata saa ingine unaweza kuwa labda hata we who support president labda hata si wa kwenu labda hata unamuonanga hivi unaona huyu mtu ana ametusubua hata bei ya uga anaambiwa ni yeye amepadisha sasa anauliza mimi nimepadisha uga na lima mahidi bwana asifiwe anyway <laughs> unaweza kuwa msikizani lakini leo ukiambiwa kesho saa mbili ukue hapo state house utasalimia president wacha vile unaonanga watu wengine kiherehere hapa ndio unajua kiherehere inaweza kuisha Wengine unaonanga hapa waoga wanakaa kama wamenyeshewa ndio utajua si waoga vile. Wengine unaonanga hapa kama hawana guo ndio utagudua guo ni kuwekwa zimewekwa. Uone vile watarauka na vile watafika hapo state house. Saa moja na kuota atakuwa tu hapo anazunguka kiulizwa na soja nini na saa ah niliambiwa saa ngapi? Nilikuwa naogopa kushikwa na jamu. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa maana lile jambo si jambo dogo. Ukiambiwa Wangapi ushawa yona isipokuwa kwa TV? Wangapi ushawa kutana na komanda wa yule anaitwa nani? Chief of General Staff. Yule mkubwa wa majeshi kabisa. Wangapi ushawa kutana naye? Anaitwa General Kiboshi. Ni wa kwenu. Si wa kwenu? Amujamuona mahali? Sasa niambie kesho mtu akwambie nataka kukupeleka DOD utasalimia eh, General Kiboshi na mkono. Wewe komanda uende hapo. He, una, unambuwa, amekuita. Unapigua saluti, unambuwa, sa. Direct. Straight. Kivika hapo, turn left, sa. Na unapigua masaluti. Hata unajizikia. Hata kutembea yako, haiwezi tebea vile, unatebea huku. Mathogodhani yosu, unatebea kama utaanguka. Utatebea kama mtu wabaya naenda biguni saa hiyo. Mana hiki ni kitu kikubwa. Mama anaulizo, ni kupeleke kwa hawa watu. Haka sema sasa, mufarume, ni my cousin. Tuna, ni napeana tu mifano. Eh? Ni ma, uyu tunakaanga tu na ye, tunaonananga sana. Unaona ni kusiko bali na ye. Haka ulizo na sasa, ama tukuonyeshe mkuu wa majeshi. Haka sema sasa uyo, siku igini akieta vita sietari. Yara hapa, hata kuna haja, tunajuana vizuri ni kona namba yake. Hata naeza kumumpigia saa hiyo umusalimie. Eh, raisha haka kuwa ma. Kaona kila kitu na jaribu kusema mama. Hakona gehazi diyalimu. Hana kamutoto. Ha, 
patangi mtoto. Elisha akajua basi tumepata. Akamwambia mama mwaka ujao majira kama haya utanyonyesha kijana. Mama hata akamwambia we 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 mtu wa Mungu mimi mambo ya mchezo sitakangi. Usinicheze. Unajua si mama msichana ni mama mzee. Sasa umwambia atapata katoto. Atianze kucheka hapo harafu akose ka mtoto next year. Na wadada unajua wadada waliubwa hawaezi nyamaza. So ukimwambia atapata mtoto atasema bwana asifiwe. Hawezi nyamaza. Wanaume ndio wanaweza fugia hiyo. <laughs> wadada hawezi nyamaza. Ukimwambia kitu exciting uwe na uhakika atasema. Na kwa hivyo wale wanaume tuko hapa hapana promise mke wako kitu. Hawezi sahau na hawezi nyamaza. Bwana asifiwe. E, usimwambie utampeleka mahali ukose kumpeleka. Niogo kuwa tena. Maana kila asubuhi ukiamka eh we no kuga ni kusema tu. <laughs> Utapigiwa kelele mpaka Yesu arudi. So usiwafanyie wa mama promise wataogea. Amen. Haya, tuachane na hiyo. Walianza kuogea kwa shamba wanaongeanga hata sasa. Adam aka huko hajai ongeresha hata simba, hajai ongeresha dobu, lakini mama ameongeresha nyoka. Of all the animals. Unajua <laughs> kuna kitu hata ukiongeresha una unaonyesha unaweka. <laughs> anyway, wadada bwana asifiwe. Siku waonea lakini <laughs> naongea ukweli tu kidogo. Yaani wako na wepesi wa kuongea. Umenipata eh? That is the point. Sio yule aliongea na lakini wana wepesi wa kuongea. Praise the name of the Lord. Na kwa hivyo hata ukitaka kujua mambo hata ya area wewe uliza wadada utajua kila kitu. Pana uliza wanaume. Wanaume hata kulipigano hapo na hakuona mama aliona. Mwanaume sijui <laughs> mahali tu wadada wanachanganyanga ni kwa TV na radio. Kusikiza TV na kusikiza radio. Hawa sikizangi yote. Hiyo tu ndio. Lakini ile person, person to person. Mpita mahali mtu atusi mwingine, mama ashasikia kila kitu mkienda anasema he no jiwe dilio ngope we hata huku sikia ni kelele tu ulikuwa unasikia vile ina, inawaka lakini yeye alisikia aliitwa ngope eh, hapo wanaume muelewe wadada so usikue na shida na wadada wanapenda kupeana story mrefu yote details nyoka ni kama wa futi saba hivi tumeongea na yeye amenipea tuda na nimechukua gapi Bili, yani atakupea mpaka details kulienda na nimesha kura na haijaniharibikia na sijakufa. Hiyo detail mama atakupea. Mwanaume hata akikura hasemi. Wewe hata jaribu kufanya maombi ya, ya toba. Watu wale wanajiona wamewahi kosea watoke hapa. Ni wadada. Wanaume hawasemi kile walifanya. Wana meza. Salimia wanaume walio karibu na wewe uambie ndio mnakufa mapema juu ya kunyamaza. Oh, huo makirani kwa makubana yenye. Ma, maana vitu zile wamefanya nao wamenyamazia wapi? Ndani. Zinawakulia huko. Wadada wa a, amefanya kitu. Ndio. Hey, Pastor mimi nimesikia nitakufa. Anasema yote. Kukufa kuna kuisha. Mwanaume anasema nitatokea nita tu. Nitaambia Pastor. Nitamuona. <laughs> wadugu wadugu tunakutana ngapi hapo anambia Pastor nitakuona tu. <laughs> Ajai kuja hata hao wako huku wananiona tu. Lakini wadada wameshaniona na tukamaliza tukamalizana. Wadugu hatujamalizana. Anyway, wadugu bwana asifiwe. Tutaonana baada ya ibada. Leo tutamalizana. <laughs> bwana asifiwe sana. Nao, hiyo sio ilikuwa mahubiri. Turudi katika mahubiri. Mumeni pata hili. So mama anaambia Elisha, usiniambia habari ya mtoto because ninajua nitatoka na my excitement. Niambie watu gojea tu mwaka huu tu mtaniona. This year. Hmm. This year is my year. Hallelujah. Jubili. Watanda watatoka watasema. So ndio anaambia mzee, usiniambie kitu ambao unajua haiko. Akaambiwa nimekwambia kwa neno la Bwana, next year, time right now. That is now which month are we? June. June next year utakuwa unanyonyesha katoto. Amen. Hallelujah. Na kweli si alipata mtoto. Lakini mtoto alitoka wapi? Tendo lile alilotenda. Hata maombi hakuomba yalijibiwa. Praise the name of the Lord. So kuna ma connections zingine zinakuanga kwa kanisa, kwa watu wa Mungu ambazo unabidi utafute principle. Bwana asifiwe. Na wale ambao mko nyumbani kuna matatizo nyumbani, uwezi enda kusuruhisha mambo ya nyumbani ama unataka kubarikiwa nyumbani na hauna kitu kwa mkono. Haiedi hivyo. 
Te unaambia mama ni ora lazima kadu ora lazima. Unanibariki ama unibariki? Wewe ni kurumuo kurumuo. Utaraniwa tu ukiwa unaogea hapo tu hivyo na hiyo mdomo yako. Utaraniwa utaitwa majina. Mtu haongereshagi mama hivyo kama unataka kubariki. Unafanya shopping ama unamuita kwako. Unampeleka Nairobi yote ukimzungusha ukimuonyesha uhuru park. Unamnunulia ice cream. Akaba akali ice cream wako. Ya nedo yeno nayo ni nini hii nayo? Unampatia tu akule hivyo hata kama hapendi. Unamwambia ina kuli wangu tu hivyo ni ya kupunguza e, joto mwilini. Unazunguka. Unamnunulia Fanta. Soda ya mashugwa. Anagonga moja. Na unamnunulia kale kako temple cha iko pale. Sio ile baridi sana na sio joto. Iko hapo. Anakunywa. Unampeleka hivyo unamuingiza kwa hoteli. Unanunulia ye chakula unamwambia Nairobi na wacha tukule ya Nairobi hata wewe usikie. Anakula ya Nairobi anasikia vile iko. Anakwambia we ndio watu ni wanono huku. Hata asemi ni wanene ni wanono. Anaongea tu hizo. Ni kufurahi tu kule amefurahi. Alafu pitishia yeye kwa duka ya guo. Nunulia hata kama utanunulia ile ya pesa nyingi hata kama utampeleka ICD umwambie huku ndiko kuna itaka kwa ICD. Umunulia elfu ngapi? Mbili. Rudisha yeye geshagi. Na umfanyie ka shopping ya kukula miezi mbili. Umwambie mama mimi nataka tu kubarikiwa. Usikie vile baraka zitatolewa. Hata atakwambia tareke nyabe jeta nyina wa John. Na uache kwanza nipigie pasta lazima akuje hii ni kubwa. Haro pasta. Uko wapi na ana shout. Paka manaiba wanajua unaitua pasta. Anakuja pasta. Na kapikipiki yake. Unabarikiwa. Unagongeshwa baraka. Pa, 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 pa. Na mchugaji anambua mwanoe wakwa. Nataka ufugulia ejia na irofi. Mama anakuwekea mikono. Pasta anakuwekea mikono. Unabarikiwa. Lakini wengine mama ya kuwela tuke shagi. Usaidi ubeabuka. Na marotero huku unakaa kama mtu wamekunywa uji. Mama na ukubuka utanibariki. We. We. Hakuna kitu utatoka na salimia naiba muwabie. Si uwelewe kanuni vile zinafanya kazi. Oh, by the way, today is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to every father in the house. Fathers in the house, hallelujah. Mbarikiwe. Amen. Kuna watu wa wakua wanajua, lakini ni sawa tu. Sasa mababa wanunuliwe zawadi. Hata njini wa mama jika kamwe ni neke na inyue. Atene muama gorela. Wewe pasta hidi nisema hivyo. Pasta dani kuna kitu imekuja. <laughs> Haijafika. Atecha hidi alikunyo asubui. Wewe. <laughs> oh, kuna message. Sawa sawa. Ilikuwa nimesikia chai ni kashidua. Zaza chai kama ndiyo tutapewa jameni. Hata nikuwa karibu kuwaguka hapa bere ya mungu. Anyway, ninasema hivi. <laughs> Mababa. Sasa mtu wanataka baraka ya ubaba. Wewe ni baba yake anataka umbariki. Lakini huyo mtu hakuna connection, hakuna kitu inakuunganisha. Si usome Biblia. Aiza kanaambia Jacob, not Jacob atesao. Enda uniletee kile chakula ninapenda. Nikule, nifanya nini? Nikubariki. Ni kanuni ana apply. Mama yake Yakobo anamuita anamwambia kiradhimo nigegudhie. Unajua wewe die Mungu alisema ndio utakuwa firstborn. Na lazima tufanye kitu tuchukue nini? U firstborn. Lazima tufanye jambo. Hata mukisema ni uongo, muonge vile mutaongea. Jamaa wame twist uongo, hamefungu wakagozi ya kodo huku kwa mikono, na ingine kwa shingo. Hamekuja, anaongea, anafanya, anajaribu kufeki sauti ya, ya esao. Anajana, baba, amuka ukule. Anambiwa, ni nani? Nambona umerudi mapema hivyo? Anasema ni mwanao esao, mungu wako wame nisaidia. Anaongea tu, anambiwa, hee, na umefanya. Ebu lete ni kule, ikare tuwa. Akaguza mikono wakasema na, na mikono ni ya esao Lakini sauti ni ya nani? Ni ya Yakobo Lakini by the end of the day Nani aliena na baraka? Muizi aliena na baraka Kwa sababu alitumia kanuni Inayoleta baraka Si unisaidia ni likuabia ukaya karibu na mtu Usalimie na ugonga honge umuambia Waza ni kuabia ukweli Baraka zinaezaibiwa e, Tigiza ya tena umuambia Baraka zinaezaibiwa Na zinaezaibiwa na nani? Na wale ambao watafuata kanuni. Amefanya vile ulistahiri kufanya. Wewe haujafanya. Haujafika lakini yeye alifika. Anaenda na kila kitu. Lakini wewe utakuja hapo kusema kama Esao, "Baba, hata mimi nipe kitu." Akaambiwa ishafanya nini? Ishaenda. Hakuna njia ya kukupea. Ishaenda. 
Sasa na mimi nauliza, uenda ikawa siku moja utafika mahali ambapo unataka lakini uwezi ipata. So, niliwambia hivi and we can read this word so that um, niweze kusonga. Genesis chapter number 23. Genesis 23. Verse 1 to 18 at your own time utaisoma. Lakini nitasoma mstari wa kwanza unaosema Sara Sarah lived for 127 years. That's how long Sarah's life was. And Sarah died. Eh? Bwana asifiwe sana. Sarah amekufa. Wakati Sarah alikufa, ya mtu anaitwa Abrahamu akataka kaburi mahali atazika mke wake. Wakati alikuwa anataka kaburi, Abrahamu alitumia mbinu ambao ndio nataka kukuonyesha kwa sababu ndio mtu huyu alitumia. Akaambia akaongea na, na the Hittites, akamwambia, "Listen to uh, 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 I am an alien and outside among you. Give me a cemetery among you where I can bury my dead away from my presence. Nipeni mahali, nipeni kaburi nizike mtu wangu. Niondolee maiti, niondolee ni maiti kwa kunipea kaburi." Walimpea kaburi hakukubali kupewa walimwambia chukua mahali unataka e, kama ukiona ni pazuri chukua akawaambia hivi Bwana asifiwe sana aliwaambia verse 8 if you are willing that i should bury my dead out of my sight listen to me and make a request to Zohar's son Ephron on my behalf give me the cave of Machpelah that belongs to him at the end of the field he should sell it to me in your presence at a full price for a burial site nitanunua ile kaburi ili iwe yangu nikipewa ninaweza nyang'anywa nikinunua haiwezi ondolewa kuna mtu anaelewa hii neno ya kwamba kuna kanuni usipoileta yange kufanya kazi haitafanya kazi no matter how much you like it no matter what you say it cannot work because principles must be applied haleluya yes So kuna vitu hata ukitaka kutengeneza uwezi tengeneza kuna vitu hata ukitaka kama hasa uwezi tengeneza ate ni kama tu video twingine hupiga maraudi huko kwa YouTube ate generator ambao haitumii any source of energy lakini inatoa moto mwingi hiyo ni uongo scientifically it cannot be praise the name of the lord kuna principle ya kutengeneza nini energy There must be a potential energy to make a kinetic energy that can be utilized in other ways. Hallelujah. So, my friend, wewe unataka kufikia mahali fulani, lakini uh, kuna kajia utaki kukapitia, unakaona kakiwa kajia, hey, hii kajia ni hii ni kujichanganya, hii ni kujipoteza. Naye Mungu anajua wewe hauwezi fika pale hata kama nilikuwekea. Eh, Bwana tukuzwe sana. Aha. Uh-huh. So nitasema mambo haya ili uelewe. Alisema nipeni lile shamba na akaongea habari yake. Na yule mtu akamwambia sasa shi, eh, tu, shekeli mia ine ndio itakuzuia wewe kuzika mfu. Weenda uzike mahali unataka. Enda uzike shamba nimekupea, nimekupea. Biblia inasema verse 16 Abraham agreed with Ephron. So he weighed out to Ephron the money to which he had agreed publicly while the Hittites were reasoning 400 shekels of silver in the current merchant rate that's how Ephron's the field of Mac, in Macpera east of Mamre na nikawaambia angalia hili neno maana dio Yesu alitumia katika kueleza kile alieleza akasema cave shamba lile ni lake amenunua nini shamba lakini shamba lilikuja na nini number one, lilikuja pamoja na cave i desire the cave but the cave is not free without the shamba Hello. Bwana asifiwe. Sasa watu wengi tunataka nini? Cave minus shamba. Cave haijasimama kwa hewa, imesimama katika shamba. Ni lazima ujiulize hiki kitu nataka kufikia, nitasimama wapi nikipokea? Hiki kitu nataka kufikia, nitasimama wapi? What is expected of me ili nipate kitu fulani? Hiyo ndio barabara na kupeleka. Bwana asifiwe. Uh, for the sake of time nitasema hivi the field the cave that was in it and all the trees mnaona jambo la tatu kulikuwa na nini na miti so shamba linakuja na benefits and i want to say this i'm sorry to say many of us desire the benefit minus the price faida bwana yesu asifiwe by the way and i don't want to mugojeke 
Wangapi hapa uko na kadi? NHIF. Haya, wale hauna uache mchezo. Enda ulipe ni 500 kwa mwezi. Enda ulipe. Bwana asifiwe. Yes. Si sem, si magonjo unatafuta hapana lakini ugonjwa ni kitu unaweza patana naye na hitaji medical attention. Alafu unafanyiwa fundraiser paka watu wanakuchukia. Maana wakikuona hivi wanafikiri ni pesa tu unataka lakini 500 labda ingekuokoa. Ingekusaidia 500 kwa mwezi. Hiyo ni elfu gapi? Elfu sita kwa kwa mwaka. Hata unaweza toa mara moja unaweza lipa na si, si ati na advertise NHIF or insurance companies no the point is this kuna mtu anataka kwenda hospitali lakini asilipishwe chochote lakini yeye ye haripi kitu hakuna kitu ametoa walio na kadi wanaenda hata unaona wanaendea murango tofauti na wale ambao ni, wa, ni, wa, ni wenyewe wenye pesa wanapitia murango hii wenye kadi wanapitia kule there are privileges ndio najaribu kusema Privileges akile huyu wamefanya kuna kagarama amelipa so ukiona wengine ate unasikia mtu ametolewa hapa amepeleka hospitali wapi wengine sio ati wanajipeleka ni kadi zao zinawasimamia ndio mtu atatoka hapa unasikia alienda kufanywa kufanywa eh, ma, eh, bone marrow transplant mifupa itolewe nini mafuta yote awekwe igine fresh anarudi huku hata na magonjwa ile alikuwa naye hakuna hata moja yako naye Mtu alifanywa hizo kwa maana privilege yake hiyo kadi yake inamruhusu akafanywe lakini sasa wewe utaishi tu ukizunguka unatembea mpaka unatembea na upande kama roli imekata center borot unaenda mpaka unaona mpaka tutoto tunakuodokea mpaka mbwa inakuodokea maana inaona we unaweza fanya kitu hapa ambao si sawa wapendwa bwana asifiwe si ati kwamba nataka kudhalilisha mtu na sisemi kukosa kadi ni dhambi hapana lakini najaribu kukuonyesha yule mtu ana privilege anapa, anafanya nini anapata mwingine hana privilege so in life iko hivyo alielipia kadi yake kuna watu ambao wakati wewe unalipa 500 kuna mtu anakatwa 1000 ngapi tano kwa mwezi kuna mtu alilipa yake one lump sum akasema ya kwamba nimewekeza milioni tatu in case kumoja ni kuwe na jambo na nyinyi mfanya nini mshughulike akawekeza milioni tatu. sasa ndio unasikia hao watu siju ameenda wapi siju ameenda wapi siju amepeleka wapi maana yake ni premium lakini wengine hapa mtu unasubuka unatembea paka ndio wewe huyo unapelekwa Roliodo unakunywa maji ya Roliodo na kikombe ukimaliza ya Roliodo unasikia kuna mzee amepatikana na hapa kuna itangwa nini Unaambiwa kuna mtu anaombea watu na hapa Kaliobangi. Ndio wewe huyo? Kaliobangi. Unapitishiwa mahali unaenda ukiruka tu mitaro. Unapitia chini ya nguo. Ukienda kuinuka kumbe ushainuka na ya mtu. We, rudisha hiyo nguo. Maana kule umepitia ni mwisho wa dunia. Unapitishiwa wapi? Unaenda unajikuta ume umekunywa madi ya divina na unapigwa na Bible. Kwanza atiri upone lazima ugongwe. Tu unawekelewa Bible. Maki na venye unaumwa unaongezewa uchungu unatuangua mwishowe anafanya zile vitu zote anafanya na uponi unasikia anga sijui kuna mwingine anatuombea anga mahali unaenda unakuta we ukiingia ule bwana ni maombi unakuta ni muganga asili mwenyewe unaangalia jirani unamwambia si uliniambia ni maombi anakuambia niliona nikikwambia ukweli ya utakuja na mimi naona ni utakufa anakuambia unataka kukufa ama unataka kufanyiwa na una, anakuambia na sasa ukiingia umeingia uwezi toka kwanza mahali uliambua uketi hata mwenye anaogea humuoni maana ako nyuma ya giza ni masauti tunatoa hey unasuka unasema oi jehova ukinitoa hapa sitawahi rudi oi mungu nitakufia kwa kanisa Lakini kile kinakuwa ni kwamba you are not willing. Hata siku ulikuwa unafanya kazi wewe haukuwa tayari kulipa gharama. Bwana asifiwe. Wewe ni kutembea tu ni mambo tu kufanya hapa na pale. Now, let me leave that one out. What I'm saying is this. Anasema ni peni lile shamba. Lakini mwishowe ni kulinunua anafanya nini? Analinunua. Linakuja na benefit. 
ufalme wa Mungu nao unakaa hivyo mnakumbuka maneno ya Yesu alipoona utajiri na hazina aliuza kila kitu akaja akafanya nini akanunua ni shamba alikuwa ananunua hapana si shamba alikuwa ananunua ni hazina iliyo shambani ananunua hazina iliyo shambani ufalme wa Mungu una vitu utabidi ufanye ili ufikie hazina iliyo katika lile shamba amen sasa wengine huacha maombi ya uganga nimenyakua hiyo mashamba ambayo wako nayo ninasema nimewanyang'anya nime hiyo ni maombi ya uganga sasa wacha hiyo maombi jiulize hivi ili nipate mashamba ya Mungu anayopea watu ni kanuni gani nitaka yoifuata Bwana Yesu asifiwe haleluya kuna vitu neno lina demand ufanye kuna vitu Biblia inasema usifanye. Sasa twende nimesema mambo ma, manne lakini nitakupea sasa matano and then I'll, I'll be done. Number one, ili ufikie hazina ya ufalme. You must have knowledge about that treasure. Ni lazima uwe na ufahamu kuhusu hazina ambao una, unafuatana nayo. Uwe na ufahamu You know there is a treasure. You know the treasure. You know where it is. Bwana asifiwe. So uweke katika maana ndio maana unapaswa kujitafuta. Utafute na upate kujua. Wapendwa, hapana chukulia ufalme wa Mungu kama kitu bure tu hivyo kitu ambacho ni cha bwerere. Hapana. Hapana. Uchukulie ni kitu serious, ni kitu ambao niko na jukumu na kufanya. Kuna mambo lazima niyafuate kuna taratibu lazima nifuate na kwa hivyo taratibu ninasema kitu cha kwanza ni ujifundishe habari ya ule ufalme utafute kujua uelewe ufalme unabeba nini haleluya ufalme wa Mungu si una utajiri wake ufalme wa Mungu si ufalme pekee ambao uko na uponyaji wa kweli ufalme wa Mungu si ndio uko na pesa ambao hauwezi nyang'anywa the bible says and he makes rich and his riches adds no sorrow he teaches you how to prosper praise the name of the lord This is the kingdom that we are talking about. He sent his word and healed their diseases. He is a God who is our healer. Amen. Hata wakati tunapingwa na maadui, bado mkono wake una uwezo wa kutupigania na kutushindania. Lakini swali langu ni hili. Ili ni unlock. Do I understand that? Ati kwamba ufalme ambao ninaongea habari yake ni ufalme una uwezo wa kunilinda. Ni ufalme ambao unaweza kuni linda katikati ya mapigo na maadui ambao wanaweza ingia katika maisha yangu hata wakati maadui wananionea the kingdom of god is powerful praise the name of the lord so know the treasure ujue hazina uijue ile hazina na ni vizuri pia kukubali ya kwamba ufalme wa Mungu ni nini ni hazina acknowledge and accept that the kingdom of god is a treasure And I wish you understand this word. Acknowledge also and accept ukubali. Bwana asifiwe. Eh? Unajua unaweza kuwa na pesa lakini haukubali ni pesa. Haukubali ni nzuri. Amen. Una chakula lakini haukubali ni chakula kizuri. Ni kama watu wengine ambao husubuka sana katika hii dunia, wanateseka katika hii dunia lakini familia zao ni matajiri. Na unauliza mtu, "Na mbona wewe unasubuka na Yohani kwa kwa na pesa?" Na wewe, "We, si ngoma." ya shetani eh huyo huyo ukichukua zake umekufa getora na madhena goko hizi na mashida zako lakini anakoa ako na uwezo shoshu ako na uwezo mama ako na uwezo lakini wewe unajiambia ni za nini ni za shetani ni za uganga sijui ni za nini he sasa unaishi maisha ya mateso na watu wengine ukimuuliza kama nyingine tulikuwa tunaambiwa asubuhi ukimuuliza how can you prove you are uncon wa illuminati anakuambia kuna ndoto niliota nimekimbizwa na ngombe nyeusi na kwetu hakuna mtu mwingine mweusi leo <laughs> bwana asifiwe because anko die tu mweusi kwa hivyo ngombe nyeusi ni nani ni anko makesi ile itakuwa piguni itakuwa nyingi kuita watu ngombe nyeusi na wewe huku wewe muita ngombe nyeusi lakini ulisema kwa doto uli, uliona ni ngombe nyeusi na ukajua ni nani ni yeye eh hey, huyo anko hata nasikianga kwake kuna karumu hakafuguliwi hebu ni kuulize kwako unawachanga open hata sasa hii uko hapa kumefunguliwa si ndio 
hata geta haijafugwa ai kwani amuongei wapendwa muliacha nyumba zenu wazi sasa ya ankoi kifungwa shida iko wapi tikuna karumu hapo akaingiwi hata mtu akipitia hapo usikie nywele imesimama sasa vitu zingine wacha neni nazo karumu kanaweza kuwa kamefungwa ni mahali yake ya kuweka tutaito twake na ako na tuma shamba twi twinge ni mahali ameficha amefunga hiyo kanyumba kwa sababu anajua vijana wake si waaminifu sasa hajafunga kwa sababu ya shetani huko hakuna nyungu bwana asifiwe eh? kuna sinema ilikuwa inaitwa home alone ile ile na ile the first one eh muna kumuka hiyo sinema wale waliwatch eh kuna kakijana kameachwa pale mwisho mwisho wa ile sinema kuna mzee anakujanga na kasaidia sasa ile tu kameshikwa kakienda kufanywa mzee anaingia anagonga kimutu na na kispeed lakini usijui wangapi unaona pale mwanzo wa, wa ile sinema kama mtoto kale walikuwa wanaona yule mzee wanafunga makatin ati ni mzee mbaya sijui ni nini kumbe huyo mzee mbaya ni mzee mzuri ndiye atakusaidia siku moja salimia jirani umwambie we menado tu wewe chukia watu tu mwambie mm. kwa kikuyu adonio ido hiyo ni kusema nini watu dio mali unataka utajiri iko na watu kuna watu wakiwa na wewe hauwezi kufa ja watu wakiwa upande wako kuna mahali utafika amen bwana asifiwe haya president uhuru aliruka tu kutoka kwa katondo huwa mpaka state house nani alimfanya president ni kura zetu wale walimpigia kura oh wachini msinue mikono bwana asifiwe lakini ni kura zilimfanya akue nani so bila watu hangekuwa hata sasa wale wanajigamba wanasema ni watu usiku moja wataamua nani atakuwa kwa hivyo unaweza dharau watu udharau mtu wa kwenu unaongea vibaya lakini mtu ambaye anaweza beba utajiri utakao kusaidia so one of the things that you must have kama familia yenu iko na watu wamebarikiwa ina watu wako na utajiri si ukubali ya kwamba ni familia ya matajiri unyenyekee uondoke kiburi uambie oe nateseka uambie nisaidieni nipigeni jeki niinuke nione vile maisha itakuwa lakini sio unangangana huku tu ate nikojikaza tu unakonda skati zinanguka free ukivaa by the time unafika mashako mkato iko na huku pande hii sababu ya vile inaenda ikizuguka juu ya kukonda Nairobi na unakonda na watu wenu wako na nini na pesa unakonda nini huku eh habari zenu hii inaitangwa counseling saa ingine kwa sababu kuna watu ambao unauawa na kitu ambao haifai kukuua amen unatembea mpaka kiatu kisigino inaisha na kwenu kuna watu ambao wako na jia ya kukubadilishia maisha mambo ya kufika kanisani lazima ukuje na kakitabaya kupagusa kiatu juu ile vumbi umepiga inafika huku kwa magoti Nikisema hivyo mnajua niko na experience. Hakuna mtu anajuanga vitu ambazo hajui. So nimewahi tebea mpaka vubi inafika wapi? Huku ninajua. Ukienda mahali tumefika mkutano kwanza watu unaondoka unapika kona. Unaenda kwanza unafanya home dry cleaning. Unabeba katavero kama haka. <laughs> ya kutuanga nini? <laughs> vubi kutoke umetebea si ati kwamba naongea kitu ambao sijui lakini wengine nasema hivi kuna mtu anatebea genuine kwa sababu hakuna njia yake ingine isipokuwa kutebea but kuna mtu anatembea kwa sababu ya kiburi kimefika juu hawezi keti na watu wako wamsaidie eh hey, watu wa kusaidia alafu wakae wakiiba kama wibo nitu wako taidhini nitu wako taidhini ni kwenda mimi natakemea mkono ya bwana kwanza nikwambie hata mafarao wataniinamia <coughs> hii na mirero wetu kuona inamiwa Salimiana hewani Kuna mafarao wanataka uende ukiwa na nini? Na tumali. Hata Joseph akienda kuona farao, alienda vile alikuwa ametoka jera. Maandiko inasema alioga na akabadilisha nguo. Si ndivyo maandiko inasema? You cannot sit before a king ukiwa vile tu ulivyo. There are people you need wakupe nguo mpya, watoe hizi za jera. 
ili upate kufika katika ufalme. Bwana asifiwe. So number two, you must know the value of the treasure. Ujue thamani ya ile hazina. Katika ufalme wa Mungu, it's a treasure. But you must know, you must also have the understanding of what is the value of that treasure. He hazina ambao tunaongea habari yake. Thamani yake ni nini? Ili hata wakati unafanya yale matatu nitasema unayafanya ukiwa unajua chenye ninafuata kiko na dhamani Bwana Yesu asifiwe Haleluya Yes Unatoka ukienda kule unaenda ukiwa unajua iko na dhamani Unasikia anga watu wanaenda bali kutafuta pesa Unasikia mtu ametoka huku ati anafanya biashara wapi Rodwa Mwingine unasikia ndiye huyo ako wapi Moyale Unasikia naye mtu ametoka Moyale amekuja kufanya biashara isiri. Watu huenda kuligana na value. Kile anatafuta, value yake iko pande gani? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na kuna vitu vinaweza kukutoa huku ujikute mpaka nchi nyingine kwa sababu ya kitu unafuata na kiko na value, kiko na heshima fulani katika maisha yako. Number three, I said you must trade off. Eh? Ni lazima kuna vitu utaweka chini ili ufikie vile vitu unatafuta. There are things you cannot get until the, you are willing to, re, to leave some elements katika maisha yako. Uondokee vitu fulani, uanze kuuza. Hallelujah. And I want to say this, by trading off you acquire the resources that you need for step number four. When you trade off, utapata resources za kufanya kitu cha nne. Kwa hivyo nitasema hivi, kama wewe si mtu uliye tayari kutafuta katika ufalme, kuna mambo hutafikia. Amen. Nitakuja hapo baadaye. Number four, and which is derived from number three, is paying the price. Ultimately, you must pay the price. Ulipe garama. Uende useme ya kwamba hili dilo shamba ninataka kama vile Abrahamu wamefanya amesema shamba hili ni pesa ngapi shekeli ine shika ndio hizi basi shamba ni la nani ni langu kutoka pale so uwezi sema uambiwe shamba ni, ni shekeli ine ukae hapo tu bwana ni wewe ulisema nchini yangu ni wewe ulisema utanipatia nimenyakuwa nimeshukua hiyo haitakupea shamba shamba kuna vitu unalipa gharama unapeana unasema shika in exchange praise the name of the lord in exchange for what i'm gaining and i want to say this if you are not ready for exchange there are things you will never gain in life utaki kubadilisha utaki kuacha kuna msemo ya kizungu mimi si kusoma kizungu sana ile nimesoma sijui kama anashika vizuri wenye inasemangwa you can't have your cake and eat it or is it you can't eat your cake and have it It is the other way around. Eh? You can't have your cake and do what? And it is uko cake yako bado unataka ikae lakini unataka uikule na unataka iwe tu bado mikononi mwako. Kama unataka kushiba kura keki utapika ingine baadaye. Nawe kama kuna mambo unataka ni lazima ujiulize ni nini nitapeana in exchange. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 8 is it verse number 36 the bible says for what can a man gain? If he was to gain the whole world and lose his own soul. If you read some version they say in exchange for his own soul. Unachukua dunia unapoteza nafsi. Kuna wakati kama unataka kitu fulani lazima ujue ni nini nitatoa ili nipewe. Bwana asifiwe sana. Wale mko na simu bwana asifiwe. Hebu nione ni gani? Wewe kai mtani nadhi mutino kana sio? Hebu tuone yako. Tuone tu tafadhali. Niaje watu hawaonyeshi kai kali ki kai mwena tuliko. Bwana asifiwe. Okay tuache hiyo. Na kuuliza hiyo simu yako uliokota mahali. Ilitoka tu China brrr, ikaanguka hapo kwako. Kuna ka process ili ifike. Na wengi wetu si nikununua tulinunua. You gave some money for your phone. You, you allowed yourself to lose kuna kitu nitapoteza hii pesa ilikuwa mzuri sana ikiwa kwa wallet by the way mshawa igudua kuna kajoto kanakuwa na mtu akiwa na pesa kuna kajoto inakuanga hapo kwanza ukitebea ka wallet kakiwa kakona tu vitu hata kuongea inakuanga different eh yes muko tu eh ai si mko nywa chai bwana yani kuna ka excitement mtu anakuwa na tu pesa ikiwa kikutana na jamaa ambaye hana pesa hata kuongea hata unaona ni kama anakuambia na sina kitu 
hata ukimsalimia anakuambia eh niko tu na vile anakuangalia ni kama anakufanya sizing hata kumeza pad gani vile anakuangalia yani ni kama anashidwa uelewi sina kitu wewe bwana asifiwe hiyo pesa iko kwa wale ushawahi nunua kitu ama mpaka unaona kama umekosea mpaka unasikia kama utarudi uwapie mtu nipe pesa yangu nikurudishie vitu zako yani tumeumbwa ina we ni kama tungetaka tununue lakini turudi na nini na pesa bwana asifiwe sana na by the way dio ni vizuri pia kujichunga habari ya wakati unakaa na watu wameokoka ukijua mtu ni generous usikubali kwenda kwake anakupea kitu ukimwambia ulipe anakuambia brother hiyo dio inaitwa kubarikiwa a ah, ah. kama ako na biashara tafadhali lipa neni pale bwana asifiwe sana akitaka kukupea kuletea wapi kwako ama akutana na ama akuite yeye mwenyewe akwambie brother hebu kuja akikuitia ni sawa lakini mambo ya kwenda hapo unaketi kwa duka ya mtu na unabadilisha mguu mmoja pande hii mguu mmoja mpaka mtu anaona vile umechoka anakununulia soda by force ndugu atafuga duka tu na ataifuga mkiwa mnaona alafu mtasema shetani ni mbaya alifunga ndugu alifunga duka ya dugu na vile alikuwa generous duka ya du, ya, ya dugu haijafugwa na shetani imefugwa na wadugu na wadada ambao hawajui kanuni za kifalme bwana yesu asifiwe So tuachane na hayo. Ninasema hivi, tumeumbwa katika jia ambao tunataka kupata kitu na turudi na pesa zetu. Haiendi hivyo. Abrahamu anasema shamba hili la makepera ndio nataka. Akaambiwa ni la Efron, akasema ni pesa ngapi? Akaambiwa ni shekeli ine. akasema ninalipa saa hii. Praise the name of the Lord. Akalipa shekeli ine. akapata kile alipata. Ninasema hivi wapendwa ni lazima ukubali kile ambacho umejua kina dhamani ukilipia gharama ili upate kukipokea praise the name of the lord uh, number five, and this will be the last thing in that line it is consistency and persistence if you want to get to a place where by the treasure of the kingdom shall become your treasure you must be a consistent and persistent person usiwe mtu ambaye anafanya mambo na in other words Eh, yaani mtu ambaye anafanya mambo na hataki kufuatilia hataki kuyafuata mpaka yatimie praise the name of the lord so what i want to say is this if you desire in other words it is to say you must spend time focusing or pursuing the treasure tumia wakati and time is one big factor when it comes to the treasure of the kingdom kuna watu ambao tunataka mambo ifanyike pap vile tumezoea kahawa instant chai instant eh bwana asifiwe machungwa ililimwa na huko makueni ikanunuliwa na makampuni wakakufinyia wakakuwekea kwa chupa ama kwa packet sasa unafungua tu pap na ni machungwa unakunywa ni kweli lakini una un, wewe hakuna ku kwenda kwa shamba hakuna kudungwa na mimba hakuna nini machungwa imekuja ikiwa kwa pachupa praise the name of the lord sasa wapendwa igawaje tumezoea hiyo maisha katika the natural world ni lazima tujifundishe ya kwamba machungwa ya Mungu utaspend time haleluya kutakuwa na wakati machungwa ya Mungu kama utaifikia utumie muda ukubali ya kwamba there will be time and i want to say this it is hanging there until things happen you hang there you stay there mpaka kitu ifanyike useme ya kwamba mungu umesema we ndiye mungu ubariki nitaketi mpaka nione imefanyika nitafuata nitafanya mambo yale umeniambia nitatenda kile umesema amuri zako nitazifuata mpaka nione ya kwamba wewe umenifanyia so there are four main areas ambazo ningetaka kusema let me say five uh, that are important katika habari ya ku unleash or to unlock the treasure of the kingdom of god praise the name of the lord number one, i want to say relationship with the god relationship with the god uhusiano wako na mungu ni muhimu katika to unlock the treasure of the kingdom mungu kuna vitu anakupea kuligana na mahali mumefikishana na vile mmeperekana 
when the prodigal son came back home, he was given back whatever belonged to him. But when he was away, he was suffering. Anakura na ngurue. Anafanya maisha ni magumu kwake. But when he came back to his father, he was given all the full rights of a son. Hallelujah. Are you a son of the kingdom? Is the treasure your portion? Where are you in the kingdom? Are you in or are you out? Wagina mume mumeenda bali na baba hamuna shughuli na sisemi baba wa huku bwana asifiwe nasema mungu baba tumeenda bali na yeye tumekaa mbali hatuna shughuli na ule uhusiano hatuoni umuhimu wa ule uhusiano hatuoni kama kwamba ina affect chochote lakini relationship yako na mungu ni muhimu katika kutafuta the resources or the wealth of the kingdom the treasure of the kingdom praise the name of the lord number two, prayer and fasting Brethren, musisahao hivi katika ufalme wa Mungu. Kuna mambo imeandikwa. I have taught you this word and which is a, a principle. I've said prayer is a principle. If you look at the Bible it says in Matthew 7 verse number 7, ask and it shall be given to you. There are things you receive based on your asking. Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa hivyo wapendwa ninasema hivi kama sasa nimewaambia tutakuwa na maombi siku saba. Utakuwa wapi? Utakuweko ama hautakuweko? Ni uamuzi ni wako. Nobody can push you to that. But wherever ya kwamba, there is no way I came from Monday all the way to Sunday giving myself to God, giving my all to God, calling upon the name of the Lord. And then you come on Sunday and we be the same. We can't be the same. Unless mungu awe ni jeudi. Wana yesu asifiwe. Amen. Na mungu siyo mudhalimu. Yeye yeah, anajua kazi ya kila mtu. Sini wafudisha the other day. It's about two weeks ago. Buwana swe sana. He remembers the work of every man. So, it is good for you to understand the place of prayer and fasting. Another scripture that I like very much in the same area. You look at Esther chapter number 5. Esther talked about fasting. Amen. Eh? Chapter 4, pare mstari wa mwisho. Aliyabia modekai enendeni. Mukafunge nyinyi na watu wote. Wewe na watu wote wa Israeli. And then mufunge. Hallelujah. So chapter 5 inaongea bali ya Esther walifunga. Akaenda kuona mfalme. And things turned around. Out of the prayer and fasting. Ezra chapter 8 verse 20 downward. Praise the name of the Lord. Inaongea bali ya wana wa Israeli. Wamefika mahali. Wakaamua. Ezra haka command. Kwa hii kitu mahali tumefika. The only thing that can help us is prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. Sasa wapendwa. Hautaki kufunga, hautaki kuomba. Utajiri wa ufalme, utatoka wapi. Hizi ni kanuni zimewekwa. Unataka ufalme ukupe kile uko nacho. Ufalme, una maombi na kufunga. Yesu wakishuka kutoka kwa mirima, anashuka na power. Anashuka na power kwa nini? Amekua murimani kuomba na kufunga. Wakati watu wengine wamelala kwa vitanda. Wakati wengine wanajienjoy. Yeye yuko kwa mapango, kwa mawe ya kiomba. Akiritia jina na buwana. There cannot be mutu ambaya nataka kufuata yesu. Lakini njia ya yesu hauna shuguri nayo. So prayer and fasting is another important thing. And I want to say this number three. Knowledge and the practice of the word. Ufahamu na utendaji waneno. Ufike mahali wapendwa. Ulitafute neno linasema nini. Na ujifundishe tu siyo kwamba. I know what the Bible says. I also live the Bible. Ninatenda vile neno linasema. Buwana yesu asifiwe. Nafikiri nikuwa nasikiza story ya, ya mtu moja. Mtu mishu wa mungu walikuwa nasema. Mtu moja alikuja kwake. Haka muambia mchugaji. Mtoto wangu wanapaswa kuenda shule. Mungu wameniambia. Eh? Na nimesoma neno nikasikia. Ya kwamba mtu wanaeza panda begu. Mungu wa shugulike na maisha yake. Mu, nimekuja na hii begu. Hii ndiyo school fees nilikuwa nae. Nilipaswa kulipa. Akasema rakini. Nimeona neno kwa kanuni za mungu. Linasema mtu wakipanda atafanya nini? Minataa kupanda. Mchugaji ya lisema vile alikuwa na shida kuchukua zile pesa. Mana naona sasa ni chukue. Arafu mtoto wakose kuenda nini? Haka muambia we mama hapa. Ana we rudi na pesa. Haka muambia mtu wa mungu. Niruhusu ni toe. Ninasikia kitu ambayo itafanyika. Wakatoa. 
na akarudi nyumbani na mtoto. Bwana asifiwe sana. Lakini I don't know whether it was the same day or the next day. Mama anarudi na mtoto na uniform anamwambia mtu wa Mungu, "Omba tunaenda shule na fiyote imefanya nini? Imelipwa." Sikubuki kama alisema imelipwa mpaka mtoto amalize kusoma. Praise the name of the Lord. Lakini ni mrango umefunguliwa. Haleluya. Umefunguliwa na nini? Na mtu aliyelijua neno na akaamua kutembea kama vile neno linasema. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh Mungu, wewe ni Mungu you are God of finances. Open the door. Tuliongozwa kuombea finances. Unajua kuna watu tu ni, 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 ni mate umepoteza. Because Mungu akiangalia kwako, anaona nini ya kusimama juu yake. Aliambia Cornelius, kutoa kwako na kuomba kwako. Zimekumbukwa. Acts chapter 10. Praise the name of the Lord. Kuomba kwako na kutoa kwako zimekumbukwa. Si maombi peke yake, umeomba na ukatoa. Bwana asifiwe. Niliwakutia another scripture, First Kings chapter number 17. Mama mjane aliyepea mtu wa Mungu chakula akiwa hajui kama ile neno ni kweli ama si kweli lakini kwa sababu lilikuwa neno la Mungu lilitimia ama alikutimia lilitimia maana it was the word of God so in fact number number 4 is it number 4 it is giving in the kingdom of God for the treasure to be unlocked there must be giving now i hope and i don't mean i, I know we are we are a good church here and we give our resources accordingly. But I want to say this, I know there could be elements watu ambao, bado wanaona ugumu wa kutoa. Nita kuambia hivi. Please, enda uagalia katika bibiria. Unionyeshe mahali bibiria inakuabia utoe ukistuka. Kistuka, unatoa. Ukika, kufike September, unastuka tena, unatoa. Ukiangalia walio fuatana na Mungu there was giving in a consistent manner. Walitoa. Walikuwa watu waminifu. Walipotoa mafungu yao ya kumi. Yakobo anaambia Mungu ukinipeleka unirudishe. Fungu langu la kumi nitafanya nini? Nitatoa. Si kustuka hapana ni promise ameweka. Akatoa. Abraham